Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new. My name is Connor aka Hungry Cowplant. So today we are back with my legacy challenge. It is episode 60. It's amazing, isn't it? And we're picking up where we left off, but let's just see where this episode goes, shall we? Look, the ghost of Lizzie is repairing our toilet. How sweet. Oh, the, the cat is attacking Lizzie's ghost. Man, this cat does not like decorations. And I think the seasons are fixed now because we've got to have Thanksgiving again because it's fall again. So that's a bit of a nuisance, but at least the seasons are fixed. Lizzie, even in death, Lizzie's still a good girl. She's taking out the trash for us. Well, even in death, I suppose you've got to do your part to keep the household tidy. Ah, oh, the cat is attacking her again. She's trying to help us, princess. And he still wants to schedule a day. What does uh, Aaron want? Brag about possessions? We can do that. Right, Ruben, once you've done that, you can repair everything your aunt has broken. You have finished repairing, Ruben. What you can do now is go and apply for a job. Because he needs it now, because Ruben has got the uh, green fiend chat, I would imagine he'd want to be a gardener. So we need to get him a job. So, Korea, find a job. Lola, you need to get this house cleaned, it's minging. Right, so I think Ruben would want to be a gardener. A gardener, a seed scatterer, yes. Let's go. Should Ruben get a jump start and accept an assignment? Yes, what should we do? Um, assign work from home assignment, purchase garden seeds, okay. We need to do that, we can do that. So we're gonna go on compute, hold on. Um, Order, order, it's on order. Purchase seeds, garden seeds. Uh, we'll start with some starter herbs. We'll start a herb garden. We'll purchase three. Because when he, he needs to get a job, and plus when his mom passes away, he'll be the head of the house. Lola, you need to take Princess to the vet. Where is Lo Where is Princess? She's here. We're gonna take her to the vet clinic, hopefully for the final time. And then when we get back, we can pay the bills. So we're taking her to the vet clinic for the billionth time. I think this is the third time we've took her. Right, here we are. So what we're going to do, we're going to sign Princess in for curing sickness. Right, the Princess is going for her examination. Right, Princess has a poop plague, a prismatic poop plague. Expensive treatment. There we go. Right, we've done that. Let's go home. And I hope to never come here again, in, in, at least in Lola's lifetime, at least. Because we will be having another pet soon, at some point with down in the generations. But I hope this time we'll get a rodent, like one of them rodent cages from my first pet stuff. But not anytime soon. Not until Princess passes away or future generations. I don't know. But we will get one at some point. I'm sort of rotating between them. And then we can go on a date with, um, what's her name? Belinda. Because we need to go on a date for his aspiration. Right, what can we do now? I'm trying to think. And go watch some TV. You've got the TV all to yourself. I love having the TV all to myself. We can get his cooking skill up by watching Cooking Channel. Oh, Darren's away. What's he doing? Oh, for God's sake, Lola, you broke the computer. How did you manage that? Right, well, you can repair it then since you broke it. Right, so what you can do is come and brag about possessions if we can find it. Gossip, no. Small talk, brag about possessions. Oh, why do they do that? It's glitched out. Oh, is he going to do it? Right. He's done that. We've already bought a microphone though. Right. Now you can... Where's Ruben gone? And come tell engaging story. Tell funny story. Knock knock joke. There we go. Right. 
you still need to win a competitive game when you can because the computer broke last time. Let's see what other video games got like. She's level 4, nearly level 5, that's good. Why is she bored? Trapped inside from an in outdoorsy lifestyle. Well, you haven't been inside that long, you just went to the vet after all. Who's this? Pearl Bear? Okay. I'm sure she's related to Lizzie because Lizzie's um, brother, Roland Bear, who, who Pierce, Lizzie's dad, had with Candy Bear, who is one of the Bear sisters, but anyway. Won't focus it like that right now. We are going to play some more video games. We're going to pay bills, by the way. Also, pay bills. Pay your bills, people. It's important. Um, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Right, Ruben. I think I don't think we're going to go for a restaurant. I think we're just going to go for a casual drink because Ruben's not really that hungry. We might go to the nightclub in Willow Creek. Right, Ruben, we are going to ask Belinda out on a date. Um, invite uh, invite to hang out at current lot. Because we can't do it for the menu for some reason. Okay, Belinda fires will be right over, that's good. Are they classed as boyfriend and girlfriend still? Uh, soulmates, prom day, good compatibility, best friends. So they're, I don't think they are boyfriend and girlfriend. But we want to get to know her first. Where is she? Where are you, Belinda? Where have you gone? Is she coming? I don't know. Where are you, Belinda? Hurry up. Who's that? Let's see who this is. Elis Alto, so he's the son of or descendant of Holly Alto, that's good. Right, where are you Belinda? Let's have a look at you on the relationship panel. Here she is! Right, we are now going to... Um. We're going to go romance. No, we're not going to propose. Not too soon. Ask on a date. Right, we're going on a date. And we're going to go to the nightclub. Why not? We're going to have... We're going to party our effing asses off. There we are. We're at the bar. Right, what we're going to do now. We're not going to propose. It's too soon. But we're going to sit and talk to our day. We can watch cooking show if you want to watch cooking show. But we'll watch that when we get home. Not yet. Order drink. Order drink for group. We're going to order sweet and spicy. The drinks are on me for tonight. Hello. Could I just get a too sweet and spicy please? Have a joke of our day. Um, funny jokes. Knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Right, romance. Uh, physical intimacy. No. Flirtation. Affection. No, we're not proposing. We don't know each other that well. Oh, there's a werewolf in the nightclub. How fantastic. Oh, there's Maya, our sister. Don't cause trouble, Ruben, whatever you do. Alright, we're going to flirt. What does he want to do? He wants to dance. This, but let's uh, introduce us. Who's this? That's Sydney. Right, we are going to um, yell at Maya for ruining his day. You are going to yell at Maya. Tell her, how dare you ruin my day. Argue about Korea, how she hasn't got a Korean, and we've got one. Ha ha. Imagine going to the nightclub and seeing the ghost of your dead granddad. Right, so Ruben wants to dance, so we can dance. 
plants together. All right, we've won the argument. That's Celeste Michael, so from the Growing Together expansion pack. That's, uh, don't know who you are. Right, let's dance. Let's dance, baby cakes. Right, we are going to slow dance together, hopefully, if we can. Romance. Physical intimacy. No, affection, maybe. No. Right, come talk to your date. My Ruben's led dance skill level three. That's good. We're gonna invite Belinda to dance. Look, we're dancing together. That's sweet. Uh, great music. He likes blues music. Yeah, you can like blues music if you want to. Let's flirt with her a bit. Alright, we flirted. Kiss your date. Let's give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. Give her a snog. Snog her. Go on. Right, snog her. I told you to give her a kiss. Snog the face off her. Uh, romance. Affection. No. Physical intimacy. Kiss her. Ignore your sister, you're not here for her. She married, she's dating your high school bully. God, how many times do I have to tell them? Kiss, for God's sake, kiss. Stick your tongue down each other's throats. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Kiss your date passionately. Romance. Flirtation. Compliment appearance first. Joke about old times back in high school, because they've known each other since high school, by the way. Profess undying love. How long we got left? Oh, we've only got two minutes. One. Ah, we're done. Alright, we've completed one milestone. Be married to a BFF. We can do that. So they're best friends. But we need to get... They're already best friends, I think. Let me just double check the relationship panel. Um, open sim profile. Yeah, they're best friends. So we can just get married. If he wants to get married, he can get married. Whatever my sims want, I'll try my best to make sure they get it. Lola's got two days till she becomes an elder. And we have got work. In seven hours, we've got to go home and go to bed. I really didn't think this through, did I? Right, Belinda, wherever you are, if you've gone home already, it's been nice knowing you. Ah, oh, worst day ever. You had a fantastic date, though. And the ghost of Sydney is still here. Oh, that's Lizzie. Lizzie's here as well. And she's haunting the piano. Oh, well. Whatever ghosts do when they're dead, our family members do when they're dead, is none of it. These business. Oh, wait. Is that who I think it is? Oh no, that's not who I think it is. I was getting worried then. Here we are, home sweet home. Well, I think these two need to go to bed. Maybe not. But he needs some food, so I'm gonna get some leftovers from the fridge. Lola, if you want to, you can as well. Why don't you finish that painting? If, but we'll wait till he gets the want to. And try and calm your friend, your new nephew down. Ah, uh, did it not work? No, it didn't. Alright, so I don't think Ruben's in a good mood, so we're just going to finish his food and then go to bed. Alright, you're going to put out that fire and go to bed. It's Betty Bye's time. You're gonna, we're here with Lola. Looks like Ruben's not the only one getting a date tonight. Well, I say date, you know what I mean. Right, and he want and his aspiration requires us to get get round to his BFF, which is Belinda. So tomorrow, why not take her somewhere romantic and propose to her? But we've got to go to work first, so we've got to work in two hours. What happened to the um 
Hold on, that one got it in their inventory. I don't know what happened to the uh, washing machine. No, the uh, what happened to the um, coffee machine, whatever it's called. The coffee machine, yeah. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, we could just clean that up. So our coffee machine's been stolen or something. I don't know. Oh, Ruben, you have got to go to work in one hour. That's good. Oh, you're tired. But you've had a full night of sleep, I don't get it. No, that's not right. Probably because he went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. Right, time to go to work, Ruben. Have fun. If you even can. No, we don't want to work hard, we want to work normal. There we go, Darren's up. What does he want to do? No, we're not. Uh, we've already bought a microphone. I don't get what you want. Right, and then we're going to join a gang. Let's see if we can finally get this want fulfilled. Join another gaming tournament. Uh, Sims Forever tournament. Meanwhile, at, at Darren, Aaron, whatever you know. <laughs> um, we're going to see if we can... We're just going to let you free roam, do whatever you want to do. Uh, feed the cow plant. And he's noticed the cow plant. If we feed it, um, we'll become very uncomfortable. And we'll gain fame and money. Let's just see if he'll feed it. Notable newcomer. That's good. Oh, who's this? Is that Maya? Oh no, it's not. It's Gretchen Delgato. Oh, it turns out. Oh no, we can't fulfill that one then. Which is a shame. Death is inevitable. Aaron knows that. Just didn't think. So Aaron has a fear of death now. Looming dread from fear of death. Okay, he's got a fear. He's gonna. Well, he is gonna die. Not soon, but when he ages up into an elder, he might. It could poss it could possibly like die of old age. Right, Ruben has been promoted to leaf cutter, that's very good. He's got that sweet promotion and now he needs the toilet and then he can go to sleep. Right, what does Darren need? Eden Rigo Hey Aaron, Wednesday Adams asked me out on the date, should I say yes? Yes, go for it. I've got to say yes. Why not? Because in case you don't know, I did add this at the Adams family to this save file. Um New personality trait, okay, he wants to be paranoid. Discuss fears of death, okay. That's what you want to do. Um, friendly, small talk, no. We don't want to try for a baby, we've, all, we've got we've all, two kids is enough. Friendly, gossip. Deep thoughts. Is it in deep thoughts? Try to cheer up family member. Alright, you might get drenched out there, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, the relationship is not going so good because Ruben's in a bad mood and he's trying to cheer him up. It's almost Lola's birthday, guys. And then when we get home from her work, hopefully we can go on a date with uh, Belinda. Or at least propose to her. Go to work. Have fun, Ruben, if you can. Try to have fun. We have not got a vacuum in the house because Ruben's took it to work with him. I'll tell you what we can do though, is we could hire a maid. We could hire a maid though, so why don't we do that? Turn on all the lights. No, um, household. We don't want to adopt, we don't want to, we want to hire a service, we want to do a scheduled maid. Oh, what's going on? It's almost Aaron's birthday and thanks for hiring a maid on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And we need the toilet, so what does he want to do now? Become inspired, we can lock that in. 
you can resume figure painting. And it's Harvest Fest tomorrow and it's Lola's birthday tomorrow. Fantastic. And who's this? We don't know you. Let me just check the relationship panel real quick. <gasps> oh my god, Anastasia's become an elder, guys. Anastasia's not an elder now. Well, technically, I know they're twins, but because Lola had children and Anastasia didn't, technically Anastasia's older than her now. Older than Lola. Who? What? She just walked into my house. Who do you think you are? Oh, she's a maid. She's the maid. <laughs> I thought she was just a random stranger who walked into our house, but she's just the maid. I'm an idiot. I think she I think that maid is a bit crazy. She keeps talking to herself. Oh, she got attacked by princess. Princess doesn't like anyone, does she? Uh why don't you just leave that for the maid? Who's this? Hold on, pause. Oh, that's Tessa Adams, a member of the Adams family in this save file, so. Looks like I'm all done here. That'll be 86 millions. You didn't even vacuum the floor, love. Or did you? I don't know. I don't see a dust bunny, so maybe you did clean the floor. Likes cooking. After level 10 of cooking, you decide already you like... You know what? I quite like cooking. Whatever. Hold on, let me have a look at her likes and dislikes. Like, so she... Hold on, let me have a look. Uh, let's have a look. So she like she likes island music and soul music. She dislikes ba backyard classical and electronica music. Activities she likes: comedy, dancing, gardening, handiness, media production, mixology, cooking, fitness, painting, DJ mixing. She, conversation topics she likes: small talk, physical intimacy, jokes, and affection. And sim characteristics she likes: idealistic sims, emotional decision makers, hardworking sims, and spirited sims. Okay, could be worse. You could like mean spirited sims. <laughs> Try getting your relationship up with Princess. Try talking to her. Try petting her. And then maybe put that away. Oh, Princess is dazed. Why is she dazed? Right. What does Ruben really need to do now for his promotion? He needs level 5 gardening. Okay, he can do that. But for, to, right now, we are focusing on one thing and one thing only. Belinda. Invite to hang out at current lot. Because we're going to propose to her, hopefully. We'll be right over, that's very good. Here she is. Hello, Belinda. Right, so we're going to. I think it's a bit late to ask if single, but we're going to embrace her. Lola, what you can do is sell that masterpiece. Right, and then maybe, because you're feeling confident, so we're going to strike while the iron is hot. And we're going to propose to her. So, romance, propose. Strike while the iron is hot. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, <laughs> right. We have now proposed. So I think this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.